destroying power of God. Fall upon him. Or fall upon her. Whoever is in the center. Yoke destroying power of God. Fall upon her in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for that person at the center. Let your voice be loud as you pray for that person. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone in that circle now. The Lord said I should tell you. And the things that were stolen from your life at birth will be restored back to you sevenfold. Let another person get inside the circle. You will pray for that person in the circle. Every evil word sent to destroy you shall go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Pray for that person. Jesus, then we pray. <laughs> if somebody is in that circle, the Lord tell us should tell you that all those conspiracy and satanic agreement against you is crushed. Thank you, Jesus. Let the third person get inside the circle. Killers of joy. Sign against him. Die in the name of Jesus. Pray for that person. Jesus name we pray. I somebody would need that circle. The Lord I should tell you that the combination of the coven of household witchcraft that has combined with your envious enemies that have combined with your career enemies they are broken forever in the name of Jesus. Let the fourth person get inside the circle. Power smoking God in your life. Death. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening to somebody in the center. Open your mouth, open your mouth. The more you pray for that person, the faster your breakthroughs. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, so I should tell somebody in that circle that that strong man that does not want you to move forward shall die suddenly. Let the fifth person get inside the circle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, fire of God. Burn every fetish power assigned against him. In the name of Jesus. 
Burn the fetish power. Jesus name we pray. Now is somebody in that circle, that's all I should tell you. That he will sit you down. I will be a spectator while you watch your hardened enemies disgraced. Like the sixth person get inside the circle. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Powers that hate your existence. Die! In the name of Jesus. Yes. Name we pray. Uh, somebody in that circle. The Lord said, I should tell you to rejoice. That all your yoke manufacturers have been destroyed. Let the seven person get inside the circle. Thank you, Jesus. Say good news. That will embarrass your enemies. Manifest in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus name we pray. Uh, is somebody that's person the circle. The Lord said you are going to have a very good problem. The problem is that your your net of fish shall be so full that you will not even be able to handle the breakthrough. You know. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank your friend in the circle. Thank your friend in the circle. Thank your friend in the circle. Stretch your right hand towards me now. Stretch your right hand towards me. Father, these hands that are stretched forth, as they use this hand now, all the powers working hard to insult God in your life shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. As you use this and now, the good record that has never been broken in your family for good, you shall break that record in the name of Jesus. As you use this and now, forces of darkness rubbishing God in your life shall be embarrassed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. I activate the sword of Goliath into your hands now to cut off the head of your Goliath. To cut it off, 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 to cut it off. In the name of Jesus, all the satanic roadblocks that troubled you last year, as you use these hands, they shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to count seven from here. 
smite your head with that hand. The fire there, the, pro, the prophetic pronouncements upon your hands shall enter into your body. You smite your head with that hand. And with the loudest voice said, you shout fire. Are you ready? One. I smile that head very well. Some infirmities are already disappearing. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. It's happening. It is happening. Yes. Yes. Get yourself ready again. Do it more aggressively this time. Even if you seem to be having a headache, don't worry. The headache will disappear as you smite it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now go to your chest. This, go to your chest. The habitation of your soul. Smite it well. And as you are smiting it, all infirmities are finding their ways out. See what is happening to that sister. Yes. The evil hand upon you is broken. Get yourself ready. What? You are not aggressive enough with the smiting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your stomach now. Yes. If there is anything you have eaten or swallowed that the enemy is using against you, they shall be forced out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This particular prayer, you cannot pray standing still. No matter the little distance much about move around. Say testimony blockers. Block yourself. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Command them to block themselves. Yes. Amen. Say, my father, if I'm wrongly positioned, change my location by fire. In the name of Jesus. If I'm wrongly positioned, change my location by fire. In 
Jesus name we pray. Now wherever you are, as you are praying this prayer, I want you to be marching like a soldier. My father, confront my confrontation. Oppose my opposers. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to confront them. Confront my confrontation. Oppose my opposers. Jesus, then we pray. You will shout this loud. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Use my life to show that you can never fail. In the name of Jesus, use my life. To show that you can never fail. Jesus name we pray. You know when Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus the Bible says he cried with a loud voice. Lazarus come forth. He had to cry like that because he was addressing the spirit of death and hell. Can you shout like that beloved? Calling me from the grave. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Something is happening. Something is happening. This is not a money to negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. This is very good. Very good. Very good. Owners of affliction. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We are here for serious business. Jesus name we pray you are going to kill two strong men strong man of delay strong man of defeat Jesus. Yes. 
Makate Satola Kaya Boshende Rabo Sopola Ba Ribo Sopole Ketele Kate Bokaya Boshente Rabo Sante De Ketende Rabo Koya Boshendo La Katenda Raba Yes 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 Jesus Silence. The chains of darkness. Tying this brother to a bed of failure. The chains of darkness. Tying this sister to a bed of failure. As I can't seven from here. They shall break instantly. Your wedding gown. That they have taken to the waters as I can't seven from here, they shall be released. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. A three persons here are from the river line areas. These two prayers that I'm going to pray from here will cause total change in your life. The chains of the water the marine chains keeping you away from good things right there where you are I break them in the name of Jesus yes That person over there, the altar, standing on your wave of celebration, the altar, stopping your good announcement, the altar, stealing from your children. I command the altar to crumble in the name of Jesus. Let it crumble. 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 If you cannot move about, be marching on one spot. Be marching on one spot. Powers of back to square one. Pray this with anger. Can the sisters shout it loud? Brothers, let your voice roar like them. Jesus. Aha, that's it. You are getting it. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. 
Just the next three prayers, I want you to be marching like that. Say this with fire. Say, the charms of my enemy shall destroy them. Meaning that anybody who goes to make charms against you or any magic or divination, it is that thing that will destroy them. The charms of my enemies shall destroy them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus name we pray every witch doctor hired to curse me I want you to get angry in your spirit can you shout it with anger you are a liar expire in the name of Jesus We are not here to joke. We are here for serious business. name we pray. This particular prayer we need to, we need to pray three hot times. Each time you pray it, you give a hammer blow to the demon. By the time you do it three times, they will be totally destroyed. Every yoke of delay In the name of Jesus. Break that yoke. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and break it again. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Come by fire, come by sword, come by fire, come by sword, come by fire, come by sword. Fight my battles for me. Hallelujah. Come by fire, oh, yes, sir. come by sword, come by fire, come by sword, oh, yes, sir. come by fire. Fight my battles 
I'm going to make some pronouncements. I do not require you to say amen. What I require you to do, if you believe that it belongs to you, is after I've made those three pronouncements, the way you are going to say amen is to make a joyful noise to the Lord. That's how you accept it. Yes. I decree upon your life that this year any territorial demon any evil sacrifice that is assigned against you every Goliath and Pharaoh position to trouble your destiny those that stole from you last year and they think they have escaped in the name which is above all names repossess your possession Makate sate la kaya bo shon tora ba Maribo sopo la kaya bo ko shon tora ba Ribo sopo le kete le kaya Ba kaya bo shen tera bo sa Manakan tandara bo sopo la ba kaya bo shen te Go back to your seat now. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is power, power, one that will walk in power in the blood of the land. There is power, power. One that walk in power in the precious blood of the Lamb. That is power. That is power. 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 In the blood of the Lamb. lay your two hands on your knees and begin to prophesy upon your life as I'm saying it please make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours you are prophesying upon your life your legs are the symbol of your movement the symbol of your dominion say ancient fight of my father's house I extinguish you with fire I shall not walk in your failure say the curse that will make me see my mates and hide I break those curses now my legs shall not take me to shame. Now miracles are miracles that surpasses explanation. Miracles that surpass explanations. Manifest in my life now. Let my legs carry me to my miracle. 
my testimonies any power assigned to defeat my glory gradually any power assigned to deflate my glory be arrested now in the name of Jesus now say this with anger be angry in the Holy Ghost evil court any coven of darkness where my destiny is being judged catch fire in the name of Jesus thank you heavenly father every enchanter diviner, sorcerer, assigned against me, shall shrink into the grave by fire in the name of Jesus. Every dream designed by the enemy convert them to miracles in the name of Jesus I prophesy upon my legs my legs hear the word of law you must not listen to the voice of my enemies you must not listen to the voice of defeat my legs uh, Hear the words of Jehovah. You shall not walk into poverty. You shall not walk into failure. You shall not walk into death. In the name of Jesus. Now a time for time shout blood of Jesus on those legs. Let's go. Louder, louder, louder. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now listen to me very carefully now. This year, 2024. It's a very interesting year. There is plenty to rejoice about. There is also plenty to worry about. There are plenty good things to believe and to hope for. It is a hydra headed year. Positive and negative mixed. There isn't really much to add to 2024. <laughs> Twenty twenty three was like a person running a race. I just give the baton to twenty twenty four. The difference is that that person that they gave the next baton. As a relay race runner, will now have to run faster. So all events that you saw in twenty twenty three will certainly dovetail into this year. And more will be added. In addition to what is already on ground, we must take strategic spiritual actions. My confidence is this. If you could survive 2023, the Lord your God shall uphold you this year in the name of Jesus. It's a troublesome year. 
but not beyond spiritual control. But I must be honest <laughs> and tell you the truth as a prophet. Hear me clearly. If you stop fighting this year, you start losing. If you reduce the temperature of your fire, the enemy moves in. It's a speedy year. You must resist your weaknesses and strengthen your strength. So that God can move you forward in a new way. Can you raise up your right hand to the heavens? And with the voice, the kind of voice that destroyed Goliath. David told Goliath, you come against me in the name of your God. So, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Whom you have defied. And that voice destroyed Goliath. Can you shout this at the top of your voice? Goliath of 2024. I am not your candidate. Down in the name of Jesus. to have a teacher in our school in those days. Very, very interesting teacher. He taught me history in school. I was surprised to find him one day in the service here. I said, history master. You come here? He to look at me. Daniel in the lion's den. Is it you? He used to say many interesting things. He's the one who will say, if beards were to signify intelligence, that the goat would have been a genius. He's the man who will say, it is when you run, they will pursue you. And somebody does not run cannot be pursued. He used to say something too. He said, when you are fighting a gorilla, you don't stop the fight when you are tired. You stop the fight when the gorilla is tired. So if you stop fighting this year, you start losing. You must resist your weaknesses and strengthen your strength. This is a year to get your spiritual life on serious fire. Serious fire. Pray. Command. Decree. Prophesy. If you have to. But this year, give no place to the devil. Do what you call an overkill. Don't say, I prayed that prayer before. I prayed that prayer before. Pray it again. Pray it again. This year, you must not involve yourself in trial and error kind of endeavor. Find out what the Lord wants you to do and do it. 
ask God what you were born for and what his specific calling for your life is and pursue it this year. Just like 2023. The plagues, the famine, the strange wars, strange deaths, ritualism, bloodshed, chaos, political confusion, economic trouble will stay manifest. High level tension will increase mental health situation, the trouble with mental health. It will increase mental troubles. And the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood shall be in serious rage. Lukewarm Christianity is therefore dangerous this year. Dangerous this year. Men have done enough to annoy heaven. And when heaven is annoyed, there is no science that can save you. <laughs> they say God's case, there is no appeal. All the weather, the climatic changes, sometimes looking like climatic wars, shall rock nations. We need prayers. And then this demonization of the mind of youth. We really need to pray so it does not escalate. The youths of our generation need a lot of prayer. Their attitude of disrespect, entitlement mentality, and doing what they like, being interested in immediate pleasure. Being interested in five minutes of sexual intercourse, ten minutes of sexual intercourse, and then you become a member of the marine kingdom. All those madness will be among the youth. We need to pray for them. Many ungodly kings shall receive the slap of angels. But it's a year of open doors and new beginnings for many. A year of uncommon healing and deliverance miracles. This year, you must key into what is written in First Peter. Chapter 2, 9 to 10. First Peter, chapter 2, 9 to 10. If you have never studied this scripture, study it very well. First Peter 2, 9 to 10. So, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show for the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood and holy nation. A peculiar people. We must key into it this year. A peculiar person does not merge with the crowd. This year, you husbands that are here, be the priest of your home. Be the priest of your home. Remember the scripture in Jeremiah 10 25. I'm reminding you now be the priest in your home. Don't be the kind of husband, let us pray. Go and pray your own. Go 
Go and pray your own. You are not interested in leading prayers in the home. Or you are more interested in other things than spirituality. Look at Jeremiah 10 25. So pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not. And listen to this. And upon the families that call not on thy name. Upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. The anger of God is released upon families that do not call upon the name of the Lord. Therefore, since 2023 has just changed buttons to a faster runner. The most important thing is not for somebody to sit down and say, this is bacteria. This is bacteria. This sickness is bacteria. This sickness is bacteria. If I keep saying this sickness is bacteria, this sickness is bacteria, this sickness is bacteria, it does not kill, what I'm saying does not kill the bacteria. If we describe this is what this year is going to be like, the most important thing for you is the fortification keys, the keys to hold. The strategies for survival and breakthrough in that year. So I want to spend my time a little bit on that before we start praying again. What are the fortification keys? What are the strategies for survival and breakthrough in this particular year? Number one. One. We must increase our prayer and fasting temperature. We must increase our prayer and fasting temperature. Next Saturday now is Palm of Do you know the simple Palm of fasting? Some people don't do it. Just one day. They're not doing it. But they don't know that they're losing quite a lot. You can't do that this year. You can't do that this year. We must increase our prayer and fasting temperature. Key number two. We must live a life of uncompromising holiness. Holiness within and without. Okay, number three. We must possess the spirit of the fighter. Meaning that if the enemy gave you one blow, respond with seven. Seven. We must possess the spirit of the fighter. Four. We must be addicted to the word of God. Take your Bible reading, memorization, meditation seriously this year. Five. We must take evangelism much more seriously. Everybody must become an evangelist one way or the other. Six. We must emulate our Lord Jesus Christ by engaging in regular retreat. Regular retreat. 
Look at what it says in Luke chapter 5. Verse 16. Luke chapter 5. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. So if Jesus had to be doing this, you and I have no excuse. Luke 5, 16. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. He withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. So if Jesus had to pray, what about you and me? Seven. You must understand how God speaks to you. Every believer must have at least one way out of 50 methods that God speaks to you. You can just wake up one morning and say, I want to marry this person. They say, Why? Say, I, 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 I have peace in my mind towards the person. No, God has to speak to you. God did not speak to Samson. Samson went to his parents and said, marry her for me. For she pleased me well. She didn't say, he didn't say, God asked me to marry her. You must understand how God speaks to you. Eight. We must be watchful, very watchful spiritually. We must make the wordings of the ancient hymn writer our motto. Christians, seek not yet repose. Hear your guardian angel say, Thou art in the midst of fools. Watch and pray. Now, make a decision to speak the truth always. Don't be found in lies. All liars have their portion in the lake that burned to the fire and brimstone. Ten. Develop a healthy and spiritual family life. Develop a healthy and spiritual family life. Eleven. Do not joke with mountain of fire and miracles ministry anti infirmity missile prayers. That prayer we pray on every man of water day. The anti infirmity missile with fire of power messengers. Don't joke with it at all. Those prayers were what saved many people from death during the COVID rage. If you don't have a cup of the prayer, get it. Twelve. This is strategy for survival. Do not turn again to the things you've left behind. You've left them behind. Don't go back to what you were doing as unbelievers. For any reason at all, don't do so. Thirteen. Develop and covet spiritual gifts. Develop covert spiritual gifts. 
seeing visions, praying for signs and wonders, moving in the miraculous. It's not only the gift of pastors and ministers and bishop and archbishop and, and so on and so forth. This, everybody can move in the gift of the spirit. First Corinthians chapter 12 tells us in verse 6 First Corinthians 12 6 it says this and there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which worketh all in all but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with that so God gives those gifts for everyone to profit with it and the Bible says we should covet the spiritual gifts 14. We must be heavenly conscious. The Bible says, set your affections on things above. We have arrived at a level in, in Christianity now where you can stay a whole year in a church and nobody is talking about hellfire, nobody is talking about heaven. Whereas those are realities of the scripture. Be heavenly conscious. Fifteen. Reject discouragement. Refuse to be discouraged. Behave like David. And the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. Don't allow discouragement to push you back. 16. Serve God with all your heart this year. Serve Him with all your heart. Don't do half hearted Christianity. 17. Strive for excellence in whatsoever you do. Strive for excellence. 18. Set goals for yourself this year. Set goals for yourself this year. The poorest man is not the man without money. But the one without vision and goals. 19. Do not compare yourself to anybody. The Bible says, comparing themselves by themselves, they are not wise. You are an original, don't become a photocopy. 20. Be a God pleaser and not a people pleaser. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. And 21, which is the last one. Never speak or think negatively about yourself. Never speak or think negatively about yourself. To do so will be that you are waging war against yourself. You are hiring a lawyer to fight yourself. These are 21 keys. Fortification key. Survivor keys for this kind of year. A year that has taken a batting from 2023 and is running very fast with it. For us at Mountain of Fire. This is our year of two things. Our year of open doors. 
and our year of divine speed. So you can say my year of open doors and divine speed. Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 to 8. Revelation 3 7 to 8. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia right this thing said he that is holy he that is true he that had the key of David he that opened it and no man shut it and shut it and no man opened it I know thy works behold I have said before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and has kept my word and has not denied my hope. It's what to us is saying is that he has set before us an open door that no man can shut. Then it's a year of divine speed. Somebody understood this prayer point in Genesis chapter 24. And God gave him uncommon speed. Because he prayed for divine speed. The servant of Abraham sent to go and fetch wife for Isaac. He prayed a simple dangerous prayer. And God answered very, very quickly. Genesis 24, 12. And he said, O oh Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day. Send me good speed this day. And show kindness unto my master Abraham. So it's our year of divine speed. By divine speed, we mean quick answer to prayers rapid manifestation rapid promotion quick deliverance speedy healing speedy favor rapid divine intervention and quick door of opportunities and so as many as are here today I prophesy upon your life if your amen can be volcanic that the almighty will give you speed you will run and not be weary you will walk and not faint God's hands will come upon you you will outrun those who have gone ahead of you God's leading shall come upon you and you shall have divine advancement in the name of Jesus, you shall enjoy supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life that every form of delay is buried now in the name of Jesus. The hand that came upon Elijah and Elijah outran the chariot of Ahab, that hand shall come upon you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, everyone shall wage war against your problems. Everyone shall wage war against your problem. Everyone shall wage war against your problem. Let your amen be loud and clear. You will overtake those who are ahead of you. You will overtake those who are doing better than you. You will overtake your superiors. You will overtake those who have gone ahead of you. Your God will announce you for greatness. And you will never fail. You will conquer by fire. You will paralyze the wicked. Did Elijah not run with his legs and overtook Ahab on a horse? God will restore your wasted years. You will overtake those who are smarter than you. 
We overtake those who are wiser than you. The last shall become the first. The poor shall become the performer. The zero man shall be the hero. In the name of Jesus. Esther's story changed within 14 days. The story of blind Bartimaeus changed within 24 hours. The story of that woman in the temple changed. The, the bent woman in the synagogue, her story changed within a twinkle of an eye. The Lord will surprise you. Your change is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. In the name of Jesus. Let's have a say God bless you. Now, this is a very short meeting. Which we go into the following year. And this is a highly prophetic meeting. Highly prophetic meeting. So it will be a tragedy if you miss the prayer into 2024. And the prayers, we are going to start praying after we've entered into the new year. It's important because of the nature of the year to ensure that you participate in that prayer in the new year. Certainly, if you belong to any of these seven categories, don't make the mistake of not participating in that prayer that we're going to start praying in 2024. If you are here or you are listening to me, the whole of 2023, you were caged by a satanic prophet who drained you, wasted your time, wasted your money on fake, useless prophecies and held you in bondage. If that happened to you this year, don't make the mistake of not participating in the prayer of 2024. True. If all through this year, you could not remember any moment of celebration or breakthrough. You must participate in that prayer immediately 2024 starts. Don't make the mistake of going away. At least I'm doing my own function by telling you. Three. We are from a polygamous home. Don't go. You must participate in those 70 prayer point programs we're going to start in the year. Maybe this year, for you were kidnapped, or some use some hypnotic power on you. Don't make the mistake of missing the prayers. Also, if you are here and you are a firstborn that has not been finding his or her feet, it will be a mistake not to participate in that prayer. This when we enter into the new year and those prayers start, don't miss it. If you are here to the whole of this year, it's like your business was put in the graveyard. Don't allow an extension into the coming year. And you have to participate in that prayer very well. Your participation is very crucial to confront that year. Also, if you are here and it's very, very clear to you clear, that the enemy 
does not want you to marry. God does not want your children to marry. Make sure you don't miss those prayers. We're going to start immediately after the break into the new year. Now listen to me very carefully. I'm reading three scriptures very quickly. Which is something that happened terribly this year. And had a lot of people in this array. Speaking for a few minutes. What I call breaking the ladders of darkness. Breaking the ladders of darkness. For the enemy to come against you and for the enemy to have an all round success at attacking you, then there must be a ladder. So it's good for us to pray off those things now. Matthew chapter 24 verse 28 Matthew 24 28 This is Jesus speaking Matthew 24 28 Say for wherever the carcass is There will the eagles be gathered together. But this is when the corpses are there. It attracts the vultures. It is the vultures who will not come there. The vultures will not come there if there are no corpses on ground. So, those corpses on ground represent the ladder attracting the vultures. Now, in the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14, verse 30, I see a woman listen to me now. They didn't want you to see today. But you saw today. So those who are still planning that they will not leave you alone. Before we leave this place, they shall be massively disgraced. John chapter 14 verse 30 say hereafter I will not talk much with you say for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me the devil came brought his scanning machine brought his x-ray machine to see where they can climb into the Lord Jesus Christ they found nothing nothing and once these ladders are not broken and the enemies come in then they build something called a stronghold. A stronghold. The presence of that stronghold is a disaster. If we do not pull it down. That's why you find Second Corinthians chapter 10. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. Second Corinthians 10, 4 and 5 
it's a, it's a scripture I recommend that we all memorize. Second Corinthians 10, 4 to 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not common. But they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The destiny of stronghold is that they must be pulled down. But it's the ladders that start. Once you don't break that bridge, they cross over and graduate to the stronghold level. Sometimes it's at the stronghold level people come for deliverance. But if there were no ladders, they will not get there. I've seen many things in my life. If I begin to tell you everything that I've seen, you will not believe me. I've seen someone who was born with a female reproductive organ and there was no problem until somebody proposed marriage to her and the male organ began to grow out. I've seen that one. I've seen a talking pregnancy. I've seen a woman menstruating maggots. I've seen four children, but the husband is a spirit. Nobody could identify who gave birth to them, but they have a mother. I've seen a man with a PhD. If he slaps his head, he will bring out a cockroach. I've seen a professor who was wedded to a corpse in the cemetery. Because one week to the wedding, the strange woman died and they forced him to marry the dead woman. But all these strange happenings happens when there is a satanic point of contact or an open door. Do you have a satanic point of contact in your life? Do you have an open door there? They must be dismantled before we go into the new, get to the new year. The point of contact is anything that gives dark powers easy access to your life. A point of contact is anything that allows the enemy to continue to operate despite all your efforts to stop them. The point of contact is anything in somebody's life that makes it difficult for the enemy to live. It is an area where the enemy wants to hide. An open door in a person's life is an act of behavior of sins, of habits that allows the enemy to just be doing what they want. When you have opened the doors of the enemy, open doors can be removed by repentance because your habit, your sin, your attitude, they are open doors. They are different from the ladders. Open doors can be removed by repentance and spiritual discipline. But the point of contact can only be removed and destroyed by deliverance and warfare prayers. Unfortunately, the enemy has built so much strongholds in people's lives. And the Bible says they must be pulled down. 
a stronghold. It's a territory that is not easily accessible. A territory that is difficult to attack. So once the enemy gets in, it begins to build a stronghold. So it will be difficult to get them out. A stronghold is a position of power in a person's life. A fortress of the enemy. In military language, a, fort, a, a stronghold is an area where the enemy is entrenched. Invisible structures erected by the enemy to trouble people's lives. In this meeting now, as we enter into 2024, we have to pull down the stronghold. We have to eliminate the point of contact. We have to change our lifestyle so that any door we have opened to the enemy this year, like anger, adultery, fornication, lying, will be closed. I don't want you to enter into this new year with a stronghold, with a satanic point of contact. Oh with an open door of darkness. Then the person begins to wonder why is her prayers not answered? What is this? What is happening here? What's happening here? I know a brother. Anytime a good thing was coming his way, a day to that breakthrough, they will have a dream. They will feed him with palm wine. Sometimes he wakes up and feels the palm wine in his mouth. Everything he does the following day is a failure. He was first of all going to a place where they don't believe there are, there are enemies. <laughs> And the churches, where they are telling them the devil has no power. That's why he was going. So he took it lightly until one day to his wedding, he had that dream. That dream. On the way to the wedding, the vehicle bringing him and the best man stopped working. So they decide to come on a motorbike. The motorbike, a vehicle passed through them and poured dirty water on his white suit. What could they do now? They quickly entered into a neighbor's place. And since himself and the best man, they were about the same size, so the best man transferred his suit to him. He was still trying to approach the church by a motorbike. And the vehicle hit the motorbike into the gutter. The palm wine. The point of contact. It was when he got to Mantle of Fire that we now began to explain to him you have come from a family that worships Ubu, the god of iron which they worship with palm wine and all kinds of things you must break that foundational ladder I'm praying for somebody here in this meeting that any bondage that wants to escort you to 2024 shall die now in the name of Jesus. Light your amen, roar like thunder. Bow down your heads now. But you see, if I in this service tonight, you are not born again. 
You've not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. Don't enter into 2024 as a sinner. So wherever you are, why all eyes are closed? Find a way quickly to this altar. So that you too can be a partaker. You are here, you've not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Quickly run to the altar here to surrender your life to Jesus. Jesus is waiting for you here. Do it very, very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their lives to Jesus in this program. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon them mightily. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mr. So at the altar, listen to me. For those of you who surrendered your life to Jesus today, Saturday, 13th of January. There is a miracle service for you at 4 p.m. At this headquarters. So make sure you fill our form and attend that miracle service for you. Those converts or outside Lagos can hook up to the program because it will be streamed live on all MFM platforms. God bless you. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. God bless us. Go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. You are worthy to be praised. Oh. You are worthy to be praised. Oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Oh. You are worthy to be praised. Oh Lord. 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 You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be glorified. Glorify. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be glorified. Worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be glorified. Worthy to be glorified. You are 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 worthy to be glorified. Oh God, you give him my glory, yeah. Glory, oh God, you give him my glory, Jesus. Oh God, you give him my glory, Jesus. Oh God, you give 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 my oh my. Ogoya, alagbara to ruba ni jemi lo. Obaiye, ogoya, alagbara to ruba ni jemi lo. To ruba ni jemi lo, to ruba ni jemi lo. Obaiye, ogoya, alagbara to ruba ni jemi lo. For those who want to get rid of every stronghold of the enemy, every satanic ladder and open doors, I want them to open their mouth like fire and like thunder. You will raise up your voices louder than anyone around you. That, by your name, Jah! Divide my Red Sea. The Red Sea is that which prevents you from leaving the land of bondage. The Red Sea is that which prevents you from entering the promised land. 
the Red Sea is what the enemy thinks will be your end. The Red Sea is that which looks impossible to resolve. That which constitutes a dead end. The Red Sea is that which looks insurmountable. The Red Sea is that thing that is provoking somebody to give up. That's why you need to pray this prophetic prayer seriously. By your name, Jah! Divide my Red Sea! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and begin to pray it. Something is happening. name we pray. Say every bolt and knot. Every bolt and knot of the enemy used to chain me down. Can you say that loud and clear? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and set it ablaze. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody will receive instant deliverance as you start to pray this prayer. Serpents and scorpions are signed to bite my glory. In the name of Jesus. Don't negotiate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Surprise! Assigned to steal my job. You are a liar. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Don't negotiate. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. There are 221 persons that this prayer will give them the breakthrough they never expected. <laughs> Say, dark rope <laughs> tying down my progress. <laughs> Can I hear you shouting it loud? <laughs> Somebody needs to shout that loud. <laughs> you are a Jesus. Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up. Makata seteni kaya bo shendera bo. Oh, put your mouth, oh, put your mouth.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with a loud voice, say, Thou power of backwardness. Thou power of failure. Thou, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now say, arrows of bad luck. I am not your candidate. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. I'm going to make some pronouncements. Those that it concerns you feel the power of God upon your life where you are you may not be able to stand on your feet, it doesn't matter but enough is enough the problems of 2023 must end with 2023 Father anyone here that right now you are operating below your divine destiny. Your real life, your real destiny is hidden in the coven, hidden in the waters, hidden in the streams. Right there where you are. The warfare angels in the midst, they are standing by your side now. And they're breaking the covenant. Tying you down. Tying you down. With these wicked powers. They're breaking it. 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 You cannot hide. Yes. Those powers that are contending with your divine destiny. I command them to depart to separate themselves from your life. Makaya bo shendera bo sunta. Ribo soponde. Aha. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Yes. Every access of the enemy to your head to your heart to your dream life to your business to your marriage something is happening where you are the hand of fire is coming upon you to dissolve the satanic access yes that's the first person that's number two that's number three that's number four that's the power of God coming upon you strange prayer. Don't worry about the wordings. Pray the strange prayer. Say, any house I have entered that is activating trouble in my life. 
Can you shout it loud? I say, woman, you need to shout this prayer loud. Cash fire! In the name of Jesus. My pastor tell you, Kaya Boshenda. You must not negotiate. My cutter certain the Kaya Boshenda. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is to be pronounced ten times. At the tenth time. Time. The angels of warfare that are here will pour their oil upon your head. As you are saying it with anger and with fire. Battles surrounding my progress. Sisters, can I hear you shouting? Brothers, let your voice draw like that. Like say, brother, needs to shout that loud. Everybody together now. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. do it again. Ten times. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Now number ten. Aha. Makate seten de abu. Ribo sepende. Beloved, see what is happening. See what is happening. See what is happening. Aha, aha, aha. Shout this loud. Say, doors that have never opened to me before. Good doors that have never opened to me before.
Jesus.